Mike, Mike. invited me to this. Uh, thank them to, for having invited me to speak on this occasion. Now, the basic thing in this uh, seminar is the relationship between film criticism and academic film study. This is uh, very important. Okay. Now, the point is, as Vidya Shankar said, the new disciplines are formed okay, out of old disciplines. When the old discipline advances to a certain level and they branch out, and there's a new, uh, there's a process by which these new disciplines are created, and film studies, uh, film studies is a new discipline which has come out. Okay. Now, how how do these disciplines come out? Now, you look at, for example, what are the basic human needs, right? All of you have basic human needs, and um, for example, there's a need for food. Okay, there's a need for uh, entertainment. There's a need for all kinds of things, making stories, making images. So, cinema came out of the need to create images, and um, Okay, first of all, it became as a recording of reality, then it became a need for expression, right, through, through the creation of images. The important thing is, okay, once, once you, a certain need has been fulfilled, in any, any kind of, any need has been fulfilled, then there's a, there's a thing of achieving perfection in what you do, right? For example, with once the thing of uh, food is settled, then you start the thinking of cooking, okay, you start. So, the, similarly, once you start one, there's a thing of a succession of images was created from the Lumia brothers onwards to create, then it created narrative and all that. So once what happens is, okay, this perfection is, works at the level of skill. So the question is, you go on improving your skills. But at some point, okay, there is a need to theorize on the skill, exactly. How exactly, for example, to make a good movie, okay, what, what happens is, how do you make a good movie? What are the essential components of cinema? What can cinema do? Okay. What can cinema do? How does one make a good film? What is essential to cinema? How does one tell a story? How does one make a recording to make it perfect, to communicate whatever you want to communicate? Okay. What happens is, at this level, when it goes beyond the level of skill, to generalize, when you want to generalize, what happens is that theorizing on the nature of the, nature of the skill, on the nature of the thing becomes the first method, the first attempt at academic uh, thing. So, so you could say academic study in cinema began probably with the with the early theorists who started like people like Eisenstein, whom uh, Vidya Shankar mentioned, with the Eisenstein, Budokin, all these the Soviet, who actually had a certain theory how to go about it. How to make movies which are most effective, which are because they wanted to use cinema for propaganda. Okay, this is the fundamental thing. So how, how is cinema going to be used? After this, there were other people who went on refining it in various ways. There was a debate about it. All this was the early part of academic film study, when what cinema should be was most important. Now, as long as this was there, what cinema should be was, was the thing, this, this kind of theorizing on the nature of the essential nature of cinema, what cinema should do. There was not much of a difference between a film critic, what you could call a film critic, all of us are film critics here, yeah. film critic and the film theorist. There's not very much difference. Both of them are only striving to produce good cinema. This is their fundamental um, aim, is to produce good cinema, right? But what happens was, as this goes on, okay, once what happens is other, other, um, uh, other uh, disciplines start coming in. Earliest, when cinema was a, was basically an art, it's, it began to be seen as an art, which is what Eisenstein, Pudovkin, up to Bazin, André Bazin, the French, uh, French theorist, French critic, come theorist, who had this magazine called the Cahier du Cinema, who was the editor. And out of his, uh, the French New Wave came out, were students of his, and they came out of that, okay. Till then, this, was, this went on, but what happens when, uh, in the early days, when cinema was considered an art, what happened was, the earliest people who entered cinema, okay, were basically from the literature section, from the English section. So you have a look at some of the, for example, early theorists, for, not, not really early theorists, the people who write on cinema, Robert Stan, Elsasser, Thomas Elsasser, these are all these sort of uh, academics on cinema who have written extensively. They're all basically from the English departments, from the literature departments, okay. One of the reasons, okay, one of the reasons, okay, that film criticism as a discipline is much lower in, st in status than literary criticism is. Liter people who are left out of literature, who didn't make it to the literature, the top rung of the literary criticism thing, moved on to cinema because it was new ground. So the early, early textbooks on cinema are written by people 
who are basically from the English department. But then what other uh, department, other disciplines started uh, interfacing with the, with the, with this thing, cinema, right? You have politics. What are the things which should happen? What are the various other disciplines? Hermeneutics, philosophy, okay? Ideology, politics, okay? Psychology, ethnography, uh, then um, business and finance. For example, the thing of making a film, the financing of a film, the making of a film, the production of a film, the logistics going into making a movie, all this is now part of film studies, right? It will become part of that. Okay, so what happened was, once these things started coming in, you could very well say that there is not going to be much in common between the original film critics who are preoccupied with cinema as an art, appreciating cinema as cinema, right? That is the earlier, the, between them and those who are studying cinema as a means of communication. Now, if you look at cinema as communication, it will probably come from advertising cinema, right? How do you communicate in order to get your message across? Okay, motivational film, advertising film, that would be the basis of uh, this entire process of, uh, you know, communication. So now you look at, for example, you look at academic film study, you will have all these other disciplines coming in. It is no longer cinema as art. In fact, psychology, for instance, you want to study cinema as psychology, what happens is, you are now looking at a completely different thing. You are looking at, for example, how cinema bears out your psychological theories, you're looking at very differently. People who study, who, who are watching movies, who are actually appreciating movies, there's not much in common between those people and the academics. There's not much in common between the way. You can do this with any discipline. That's why I brought in food. For example, there's a politics of food. Okay, there's a politics of food. For example, now the question is this entire thing of whether the beef should be eaten, should not be eaten, whether pork should be halal or whether, whether uh, meat should be halal or not, halal or not halal. These are political issues, right? So what happens is, the politics of food is a completely different thing from the thing of cooking, right? How to make good food, how to appreciate food, how to... It's a completely different thing. Both of them start with the discipline of the need to eat, with the need to feed yourself. But they branch out in different ways. This is the thing. So what happens is, academic study moves off into other areas. It moves off into territory which wasn't earlier. It, 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 it comes into something else which is not much to do with filmmaking. In fact, I would say that filmmaking is very close to film appreciation. The original film, uh, French, uh, French uh, New Wave and all of them, they were all film critics, they were not academics. So this is what generally happens, okay, so that, so that what happens in this process is, there is a branching out, the different, as, as a new, as, a, as, as overlapping of disciplines, as new things start coming in, Literature will go into politics, cinema will go into politics, it will go into psychology, it will go into various things, including finance, economics, all this will come in. The automatically it branches out. So the original uh, thing on which the films, uh, film criticism started, which is the appreciation of cinema as art, okay, as that uh, gradually loses ground. So I just wanted to make this point uh, because uh, Vidya Shankar brought it up. I thought this would be an interesting place to start it. So I mean, I am thankful that uh, I was asked to speak first so that I sort of laid out some kind of foundation on the others can be nice confused. Thank you.